All right, let's verify this identity. <coughs> the way to do that, I like to write it like this. I like to write the answer down here at the bottom and erase it from up here. Because and the reason I do that is because I like to keep the equal signs going all the way throughout so I can see that I started here and I ended here, which means they're equal. So in my head, I'm thinking, boy, this looks tricky. But then I think, wait a minute, this isn't so tricky because that equals 1 minus cosine squared of theta. So I just changed that. Now, this thing right here now can be factored because it's a difference of perfect squares. Wait, what? Oh, 1 equals. That didn't make sense. I changed only, I changed only this right here into that. Oh. That's the only thing I've changed so far. Why didn't you guys tell me that in the first place? And now, <laughs> and now I can factor it into 1 plus cosine, <gasps> 1 minus cosine theta <laughs> over 1 minus cosine theta, and these things cancel out. Which means I get 1 minus 1 plus cosine theta, cosine which just theta. equals, okay. yeah. wait wow. a minute, yep, but notice, I, I wrote that wrong, you have to distribute the, you have to distribute the negative in. I wasn't looking at the whole problem, I just was looking at the one. Okay, well, you told me how to do that. You have to distribute the negative in, and then that equals that, and I so you're done. I feel like you're ruining all this video. So I do. So one of the, <laughs> but here, listen, one of the points of these verifying identities problems is figuring out in your head it's like a chess game you have to figure out what's the strategy I'm going to take sometimes you just randomly go for it and you end up getting it but a lot of times when you do that you're going to end up way off in the distance of mathematical cuckoo land not knowing what the heck you just did so that's how you do that problem